What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kyle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be going over the best jump shot to use for season two in NBA 2K23. Now, before we get into the jump shot, can we first appreciate the drip, man? We got the Bel Air Academy jersey on, number 14, Mr. Will Smith, with the Bel Air fives to match. Who you know out here suited and booted like this in 2K? Come on now, nickname is Ranch because I be dressing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the best jump shot for season two. So they decided to release Lethal Shooter's jump shot for season two of NBA 2K23. Now, if you're a basketball fan, we all know who Lethal Shooter is. He's a trainer. He trains NBA players. He's got one of the best jump shots the internet has ever seen. And he'd be doing all kinds of different shots on different kinds of hoops all over the place. He'd be helping these NBA players get their jump shots right, man. And they have his jump shot in the game. So you already know it's going to be cash. Now, I do have different variations of this jump shot. And I'm going to show you every single one. They all have mostly A's in terms of grades. And there are some slight differences. But really, the upper is going to be the same. The upper is going to be lethal shooter, of course. And then the base is what ends up changing. So you already know I can't show you all a jump shot without first showing you how it is. And we got to show you that the jump shot is cash. For the jump shot, I was using my release timing on very early now of course you can use whatever suits you best go in the gatorade facility shoot around test them out and see which one works for you i would recommend using very early or early i mean if you absolutely need to you can go to late or very late if that just helps you green in terms of timing but i do recommend very early and early because the jump shot even with the speed increased all the way is pretty fast but you know there are some jump shots that are faster that's why i turn my release time to early so i don't have to hold the button that long it doesn't speed up the jump shot or anything it just changes how long you have to hold the button but you can see from the gameplay that the jump shot is green and i'm not using this with a meter and we're still green so it's good it can fade you can do all of that let's go ahead and get into the base and the upper for this jump shot now like i said I do have different variations for this jump shot and it's all personal preference man if you like a certain base over another one you can use whatever suits you best post-production kai here as you can see the reason why i didn't suggest using lethal shooters animations all across the board for base and the release is because when you do that you get release height c plus and you get a release speed of b plus so that's why i decided to change the base and find some good bases that y'all can run this jump shot with so between these first two i think are the best combinations i think i have like four different combinations that you can throw together for this but you want to go with clyde drexler for the base and then of course for at least one and two you want to go with lethal shooter and it's on the very last page now you go to your blending and release you want to turn that thing all the way up because the faster your jump shot the better you can get it off quicker now you can see the grades are good across the board your release height a defensive immunity a minus release speed a minus and then you got that b plus timing impact and then the animation blending doesn't matter whether it's on 50 50 lethal shooter or 100 percent lethal shooter it's the same upper so it doesn't matter now this is the first one the second best one is on Scotty pippen's base now you see clyde drex is almost a straight up up and down jump shot he kind of kicks his foot out a little bit trying to take that step to kind of gather himself scotty pippen's i like there because it's just straight up and down catch and shoot like there's no other extra movements with it, but the grades do change a little bit. Again, it's still mostly A's, but we're gonna see what that ends up changing to. So when you add Scottie Pippen, the release height ends up going to an A plus, and the timing impact ends up going down to a B minus. Not that big of a difference, but again, it's personal preference if you prefer to have that A plus release height, or if you prefer to have the timing impact be a B plus, you can choose between these two jump shots release speed still max all the way out and again animation does not matter now i do have two other variations for this you might even have a bonus jump shot that you can go with it with this same combination just switching up the base now the other one is lamella ball's base of course all personal preference if you want to change up the look of your jump shot then you can a little bit if you like lamella ball's base then you can use this but the time and impact is a c minus so that's why I don't think it's the best option but the grades are still good man the timing impact some people say it doesn't really matter that much what's important is are you able to green with the jump shot so if you like the way this one looks then by all means go test it if it works for you use it still got good grades a's across the board except for the timing impact which is a c minus the next one we got up that is really good you can change this base to kcp another good one you got a's all across the board a minuses and then you got a timing impact of b plus with 
KCP's base. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and throw in a bonus one. You can also use PJ Tucker's base and you'll get release height A, defensive immunity A minus, release speed A minus, and then time impact of B minus. So again, you can use whichever base you like the most. A lot of people like using Mellow Ball's base, but you'll get a time impact to C minus. I personally like rocking the Scotty Pippen or the Clyde Drexler. I think Scotty Pippen's is the best because it's straight up and down and it doesn't have that extra foot motion with the Clyde Drexler jump shot, but it's all personal preference, man. And you got lethal shooters jump shot. You already know what's gonna be cast. So go ahead and go test this jump shot out in the rec and in the Gatorade facility. Make sure you practice with it first. Let me know what you think about this jump shot down in the comments. As always, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel down below. Join the Discord. The link is down in the description. Trying to create a place for everybody to go find players to run with for 2K and plenty of other games. Be sure to stay safe out here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.